Hi guys, quick video update. I've um, actually been away for about five weeks, which is unfortunate. So things have, all my projects have built up. It's gonna be a quick video of what I've actually got on the go. So you can see the transformation that's gonna happen here in the next week or two, which is great. So this here is actually a solar powered irrigation system, which is actually going at the front, on my, my balcony at the front. Here's my little rocket stove I purchased. One of the great, yeah, unbelievable. Oh, kettles on the boil, which is awesome. So really, really good little purchase. Got my coffee percolator over the back there, percolating away making coffee. There is a better kettle I'd actually recommend getting with that. If you are gonna buy a gas kettle, get one with a temperature gauge in it. So you can actually see, currently at the moment, I actually had this laying around from playing with cars. I can't see that in the video, but you can use, use the temperature to see what the video is, so just go. Cool. So I've set up a little, little power station at the back here. Just using all my appliances and everything out of the car. Got my fridge, I'm using that as a second fridge in the house at the moment. Uh, it's my little inverter. We've got a solar panel actually on the roof of the house. This black thing here is actually a sun kettle, uh, which is really cool. Uh, it takes about two hours in the middle of the day. Um, you just sit out in the sun, lay on its back, bang, two hours later, you get hot water. So I'm actually really excited to see how it's going to go in summer. The summer heat, so it's a little garden jeep trolley. It's been great. Stop losing tools, which is awesome. So here's some netting I got from some guys in Brizzy. I'm gonna put over another garden. I'll show you down the back. I've built my new chicken feeder. This here's to help save time, feed the chickens, uh, and also stop them from wasting so much food. So we'll come over here. Some new wood, I'm actually building a deck up top here. I picked it up off a builder, good old hard redwood, got it for nothing. This is my new fly mow mower, which is great. So we've been mowing the lawn with no petrol required and it takes an extra 10 minutes than what it used to. So we actually don't really have much of a yard, but it's great now, no petrol required. Push the old fly mower around. Uh, picked that up also on um, Gumtree secondhand, which is great. My two new worm farms that are going down the back. Quick update up here. Like I said, I actually haven't been here for about five weeks. Things have been a bit crazy and just happening. So, um, the chickens are up here having fun, eating everything and anything they can get their beaks around. Some cherry tomatoes, they actually didn't think they were going to survive. They got hammered in the wind and they've still kept producing really, really great cherry tomatoes. So, I've just left them. I've uh, been picking the cherry tomatoes off. Didn't want to disturb the vine and re move it around and thought maybe might. Kill it, so I've left it and it produced. My rocket's gone to flower and seed, so we've got some seeds there from the old rocket. Come down here. Here we go. We've got um, our worm farms. We've also got a new little beehive. Um, about 5,000 native stingless bees there. Got those from Melissa from Sydney Stingless Bees, which is great, really good to deal with. So I think they're about 20,000 pets there, which is great. These are um, my wife's, I think they were called snow flowers or something like that. Chickens ate them, love them. Chickens demolished them the minute they started flowering. So they actually come back to life, which is good. So put them in there, the rocket's going crazy. Got some flowering there. <coughs> I've actually moved the clothesline from the bottom up top. Get some more space to build this bigger garden. I'm about to go down and show you. I whacked up a temporary fence there until I get my chickens sorted. Stop them from eating everything so I can get some gardening going. Oh, and speak of chickens. Here they are here. We're just waiting for our new greenhouse to arrive. That is Esme and Joyce. There's some seedlings coming up. There's some ox hearts. Some mortgage busters. Uh, we've got some purple dragon. Some atomic red carrots. Loads of beetroots there. Lots of leafy lettuces over the back. This here is blue popcorn we've got happening. So we've got some tagasasti or however you say it. Um, loads of seedlings come. Also got some lily pillies, which I've actually I was walking around the neighbourhood. I found the lily pillies and uh, ate them, and come home and planted the seeds and got some seedlings. So <clears throat> this is the egg pipe I'm actually using to build the house, uh, build build the uh, greenhouse, which we'll get to in a minute. I'll avoid this sun, keep it to our back. So. We've got some tomatoes sprout up there. We've got an onion that's popped up. 
Some more potatoes, some more cherry tomatoes over there. These cherry tomatoes have actually been the best tasting ones out of all of them. So they've been great. So banana tree looks like it's doing good. So here we've got, we've got this garden bed that I've been building. I'm halfway through the irrigation system. Um, one of the black worm farms is going to go in there. Another one in there. So it's going to be an in-ground permaculture worm farm. So you can put the scraps in. The worms will do the job and take them all out to the garden for us, which is going to be great. So this garden bed here is designed with the poly pipe. It's going to be going over like a hoop house. We're going to have netting on it in summer. In winter we'll be able to put some plastic sh plastic over it, uh, some clear plastic, and we'll be able to have a, a huge shade house and go, you know, greenhouse and grow some stuff in winter, which will be good. We've got some sweet corn that's come up here. I've just thrown that chicken wire on there to keep the chickens off from eating all the seedlings as they're coming up, which is great. My worm tea aquaponics. So I actually don't run fish in this yet. I haven't got around to putting them in there. I just run seaweed. I collect from the beach whenever I go to the beach. And my worm tea I throw on the bottom of it there. Produces the most amazing celery I've ever tasted in my life. And my wife loves celery and she thinks it's the best, so that's all that matters. If you have a look at the size of the leaves on these spinaches, they're absolutely huge. So they do really, really well. Everything does well in there. And I've also been propagating a lot of herbs. Um, you see around there. Get some cutting off the herb plants, throw in there to grow another plant. It's been doing really well using the apple planks to propagate stuff, which is exciting. As you can see, the chickens have been getting some great feeds over these beds over here. Um, these crops, most of them we picked in late winter. We got most of the harvest out of it, so I've, yeah, I'll be getting around to cleaning it up, getting it ready for the, the summer crops, which is exciting. We got compost bins and everything over here, so. That's a quick update. There's uh, lots and lots of stuff going on around here, so thought I'd give you a quick update of what's going on right now. So within a week or two, you can see what I've got achieved. Thanks, guys. Talk soon.